from Urartu Productions and we're here at the Hollywood Park Casino in Inglewood, California to watch the High Fighters. I'm here with Araz Araratian with Legio, right? Legio? Yes, Legio. Legio. And we're here to talk to you a little bit about your story and how what your influence is with the design. Well, well I started off with the highfighters.com website and from there we introduced a lot of the Armenian fighters. What we wanted to do, you know, MMA was getting big and the MMA style t-shirts were getting to be a big fashion statement. So what we decided to do is try to do something with an Armenian angle. And what we came up with was Legio. Legio means legion in Latin and it comes from uh, Legio Prima Armeniaca, which meant uh, first Armenian legion. So what is that meaning right there? This is the famous Sassusitavit statue from Armenia. It's just a warrior on a horse and it looks pretty, you know, it looks pretty badass yeah. either way you look at it. So that's why we got that one here. Uh, over here is a very famous warrior, Vartan Mamigonian, his, uh, you know, his picture that's uh, iconic in the Armenian community. Different versions of the uh, Armenian coat of arms here. And I love this, the colors. Thank you. And this one is the Haik Nahabet. Okay, cool. Right, so that one's there. But the one I'm, I'm really, really excited about now is uh, this new shirt we just uh, brought out today. So this is in conjunction with Roger Kupelian, who is the uh, author of the uh, novel graphic novel called East of Byzantium. Mm -hmm. So this is in conjunction with him. His, this is his story of the Vartan Mamigonian War. Mm -hmm. And we were very extremely, extremely uh, glad we were able to get the uh, assistance of uh, Dan Panosian to do the rendering of Vartan on mm -hmm. this one, which is his work. Job, so right. if any Armenian sees these shirts, the, the imagery, the icono I iconology on there, Everything is very, very Armenian. They'll be able to notice it right away. Whereas a non-Armenian would look at it and say, you know, that, that, that's a pretty cool warrior. Mm -hmm. It looks good. And we got the, the, the tagline, Bread for Battle, to kind of tie it in with the, uh, you know, with the Armenian community and, and our history and what we are, and tie it in with the fighters as well. And, and you know, we're, we're just trying to help out the fighters. I'm here with Dan Panosian, and I uh, want to you know, just ask you a few questions about your background and um, basically what's this new project that you're on? Uh, well, of course I'm Armenian, otherwise you wouldn't be in, 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 <laughs> interviewing me, but uh, um, I work for Marvel and DC Comics. I got a comic book out right now, it's called GI Combat, it's, uh, and DC is publishing that. And then I'm doing a new project in Europe, it's going to be written in French, it's uh, a series of French graphic novels. And uh, that one's going to be called John Tiffany. It's about an assassin, and uh, kind of fun stuff. Different, a different venture. I'll still be doing covers for Marvel and DC and other comic book companies, but I'm moving on to like a European market. Yeah. And um, have you been coming to a lot of the High Fighters uh, this fights? Is, this is the first time I've been to a High Fighter fight, but I've been over um, in the, some of the gyms in Glendale. I'm a big, big MMA fan. My dad was a boxer. I grew up boxing, and. Uh, I do some Muay Thai training and some boxing training still, but where do you train? I train at uh, Tap Out in downtown LA. Who's your Who's your number one guy tonight? tonight? Your I, it's hard It's hard to say because I'm I, a big fan of Roman. Okay. L love watching jo Georgie is a great guy. That's a really good kid. He's got a big heart, and I I can't wait to see is is Edmund fighting tonight? Oh, see, this is heaven for me. I can't wait. Like yeah. Yeah, no, and this is Edmund's return. He hasn't fought in, what, four years or something? So this is pretty huge. Yeah, I'm very excited. Where can uh, people find you? Like, do you have a Facebook oh. website? What's yeah, it? I'm on Facebook, but um, I have a website. It's um, urbanbarbarian.com. Even the, even the barbarian has I-A-N at the end, so. <laughs> I'm here with Roger Kapalian, and uh, let's talk about East of Byzantine. Let's get to the point. Well, as you know, the uh, Armenian president just leaked that uh, there have been meetings going on with Mel Gibson. Uh, a little premature, but uh, there are no agreements yet. Uh, we are bringing out the graphic novel. That's just my company, the uh, East of Byzantium company, that Dan Panosian helped me with. So that's something we're very excited about. And in a few days, I'll be in Spain, in the Canary Islands, where even before in English, they've already published it in Spanish. So the story of uh, our 301 AD the whole uh, conversion of Christianity and all that, which is the first graphic novel, is now in Spanish. It's pretty serious stuff right there. Yeah, when it's in Spanish, it's pretty serious. Yeah, so um, how long have you been working on this project? 
I've been working on this project on and off since 2002, since I was in New Zealand working on Lord of the Rings. And so I met a lot of artisans that helped me out in New Zealand. So the first people to work on this project were New Zealanders, they weren't Armenians. And uh, in 2008, we just had a major initiative to push forward. You go to rogercopellian.com, which is very hard, I know, rogercopellian.com, if you can remember that. And uh, we also have a site for East of Byzantium, eastofbyzantium.com, again, very difficult. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, so people should go and friend us and spread the word around so the word gets out there. And we're going to have it digitally available as, uh, pretty soon. So right now, uh, we're just waiting for the uh, Kinetson, uh, inaugural uh, ceremony for the graphic novel to take place. That's the first thing. Uh, I believe the AGBU is going to be helping us publish. And we're going to be in comic book stores and a few Armenian stores across the nation as test markets. So if all the comic books sell out, the first volume, then uh, we're going to be doing more. I'm here with Eric Nazarian, a filmmaker, and um, we were just discussing your film that you had um, in Turkey. Tell us a little bit more about that. I made a movie in Istanbul about an Armenian oud player who goes back to Istanbul to find his grandfather's oud shop that was destroyed during April 24th, 1915. It was very clear from the beginning, they were very gracious to invite me. They invited six directors from around the world to come back to Istanbul and make a movie about their cultural history. And they invited me to be the Armenian voice. So I was very moved that they invited me and I said that I would very gratefully accept uh, only if I could use the word genocide in my movie. But I think we have to express ourselves very clearly, very sincerely as Armenians, but more importantly as artists and human beings because Armenians have been in Constantinople for 1700 years. And we're a big part of that fabric of that society, but unfortunately history chooses to forget what we've done. So we have to keep reminding people who we are, where we're from, what we do, what we create, and what we fight for. And what's your current projects or anything that's coming up that you want to share with us? I'm working on a, several projects now, a trilogy about globalization, about Armenians and immigration. I'm doing another film about law enforcement in Los Angeles, and I'm doing another film about the Armenian genocide. Who are you here to root for? I'm here to root for all Armenian fighters. Gervog Azgenk, Pari Azgenk, Yev, Asfaz Baaban, Bolor Merker Vararnerin. What's your name and who you here to root for? My name is Henrik. I train out of Glendale and North Hollywood. I'm here to root for my coaches and also my high fighter friends, uh, Roman Matichian and Edmund Tarverdi, my coaches, and also a couple of other my, of my high fighter friends. And which gyms are those again? You said in Glendale and North Hollywood? Glendale Fighting Club and highest on MMA. Nice. And how long have you been fighting or are you training? About three years. Three years? Three years and a half. When was your first fight? My first fight, 2009. And did you win? Yeah, that was my first fight that I won. Oh, how did that feel? It felt great. Hey, yekel em aistek bolor mer hai marzik neri hamar bolor neli manker nelen yev sankano em neran sajo utsun yev aktanak. What's your name and where do you train? Core and my trainer of Glendale Fighting Club. And how old are you? 15. And how? When did you start? Uh, around three years ago. And who are you here to cheer on and root for? All of the high fighters. Uh, that's a great answer. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to you. What's, what's your name and who? Where do you train? My name is Leon. I train from Glendale Fighting Club. Okay. Yeah. And how old are you? I'm 16. Do they know any like nicknames for you? Uh, they used to call me Triangle because one of my favorite techniques is a triangle choke. I'm here to support all the fighters. I love fighters, and but mainly, you know, my trainer Edmund. You know, he's my coach, and today I'm the coach, and he's the student. <laughs> so, uh, what are you looking forward to? One of his moves that you really like? Well, I want him to box, you know, because that, that's my specialty. I'm gonna work the corner, so I'm gonna give him some boxing advice. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully he wins by boxing. Anybody else you're here to support that really is going to stand out for you? Yeah, all the high fighters, you know, uh, Sako I think is fighting, uh, Ando, Afo, and I'm probably mistaken, uh, or all the guys, you know, I'm just here, I'm, uh, I support all the high fighters, you know, so I'm here for all the high fighters. Great. Thanks for your time. Well, have a good night. I'm here with Al Nazarian with Glendale Metro PCS. 
And uh, so who are you here to support? Who's your number one guy? Uh, I'm here to support all our high fighters. Uh, George, Jay, uh, Lights Out Promotions put a great show together. I'm looking forward to seeing all the fights. Uh, what type of martial arts do you like the most? I'm a big fan of boxing myself, having worked with uh, Vonis in the past, but uh, also I know Edmond is going to fight today, Tarverdian, so we wish him good luck. Uh, and have you trained yourself? Are you someone who's wanted to fight? Uh, I have not. I've always played soccer in the past okay. more, but always been involved in sports and, you know, just uh, very close with all our Armenian fighters and, you know, we help with what we can. My brother Eiffel Media actually does a lot of the design and the posters for Jay, so he works on those. We've always been close with them and big supporter in our community. So High Fighters from Aras also does a great job. Uh, everyone wearing his shirts here, it looks great. And you know, the, the main idea is all of us Armenians get together, stick together and you know, we have each other's back and we see it here. There's hundreds of people, probably thousands. The place will get packed. So Jay put on a great show. I congratulate him. How many how fights have you been to? A lot. I've been to most of them in Vegas, mostly with Vanis Martirosian, who's undefeated. Uh, we hope to see him in a big title fight this summer. You know, he could he could get a very big title fight, depending on some of the other fights that are happening. Uh, I also want to say thank you to Urartu Productions. Arin does a great job with what he's doing. So uh, thank you very much, the man behind the camera. He should come behind, you know, from the camera and get in front sometimes, right? <laughs> get him up here. Thank you guys very much. Thank you so, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I'm here with Andy Demirchian, and he is with SK Golden Boys, and uh, you're coaching today, so tell us a little bit about who you're backing up. Uh, well, I uh, helped a lot of the guys train, but I'm um, cornering Edmund Tarverdian today and Roman Matichin, but I've also helped uh, Sako Chevichin and Adam Udardian for this fight. You know, a lot of the guys come and train with us, but, you know, I'll be cornering two of them tonight. Sounds exciting. Um, I wanted to know what was your favorite part about being a coach versus being a fighter? Just, I mean, you learn a lot when you become the teacher and you realize things that you don't know. You know, when you teach, you kind of learn everything much better. And it's also a different experience and much fun for me. You know, I've, I've been coaching for a while now, but, you know, coaching at this level is, is, is something new and something good for me. Right now, just uh, you know, hanging out with uh, my teammates, you know, trying to relax, get in the fight mode, and uh, you know, slowly we'll start stretching out a little bit, and uh, you know, getting my hands wrapped up. But uh, you know, feel good, feel ready. Uh, dehydra uh, I was dehydrated yesterday. Got all my water back and uh, my weight back, and I'm feeling good. I mean, I trained hard for this fight, and uh, I'm gonna be fighting hard. And where's your favorite uh, gym that you you train at? Uh, my home gym is uh, Team Hyastan uh, with my uh, trainer, my cousin Gokor Chevichin. Uh, I've been training there for 20 years. Uh, pretty much got the best uh, judo and MMA fighters all, all over the world. And uh, I've been there for a while. It's, it's my home. Um, I'm here to corner a lot of my friends, Sako Chevichin, Ara uh, Muradian, and uh, Roman Mitichin. So we're here, and it's, gonna, it's a good show. So somewhat and we're here to we're here to do what we have to do as we win, win fights i'm here with vito gasparian and i just want to talk to you a little bit about where your mental place is and you know how you're getting pumped up for the fight i'm ready mentally or physically um no not nervous not just a little bit excited and haven't been fighting for a year already and straight to get in the ring and do my thing the only thing that i think about is just like uh excitement and just get in the ring make my people proud just get out of the ring with the victorious. That's all I worry about. You guys have to cut out a lot of like going out before you train. What's oh, their absolutely. strict like regimen? Three, week, three weeks before the fight, it's uh, it's no food. Like I mean, like you gotta eat right, you gotta drink right. Like drink only water and specific amount of water, 
And I don't know if I'm allowed to say on TV, but I mean, like, no sex. So that's that's the saddest part. So. That's what I've been hearing a lot. It's like a mixed emotions yeah, from is, some fighters yeah, um, when they, they have weeks. to... Uh, every fighter got his own date. I got three weeks before the fight. Everything <laughs> sp stops. So that's Schedule. really, re really gets you emotional. Like, you want to break things, but I mean, like, we, you get through it. Like, I mean, like, when the fight is over, everything is in front of you. I'm here with the legendary Gene LaPelle, and um, tell us a little bit about who you're supporting tonight. Well, I'm supporting all our Armenian fighters from Hayastan, Gokar Chavichian School, bar off to all my friends. What's your favorite part about these fights, the MMA fights or any kind of fighting? Let these young kids make some money, stay off the street, be good, don't smoke, drink, or take dope, go to a dojo our dojo or any Armenian dojo. My favorite part, it's my three students are competing here. Roman Mitichian, Arak Muradian, and also uh, Sako Chivichian. So these three of them, my students, they're training with me very, very young time. They're competing, I hope in, uh, they win. Of course, that's my uh, favorite part. And number two, it's the old Armenian parts, you know, the old Armenians competing. It doesn't matter, they're my students, some of them, the most of them, they also come and train with me too. So, so we're hoping everybody, good luck, win, and uh, if lots of Armenians here, and there is a lot of other nationality, they, they can see how the tough the Armenians. What's your dojo? Tell us a little bit about your dojo. Ayastan. You got, if you want to come and see us, be a guest of mine, take a free workout. At highest on gocar.com. Look at your uh, internet, gocar.com. I can visited. You spell that? Yes, I can. Gocar.com. G O K O R, right? You got it. <laughs> who are you here to support? We just noticed you know, you're right around the corner, and we wanted to talk to you a little bit about who your favorite guy is tonight. Well, I'm cornering one of my fighters. His name is Chris Brady. Fights at 135. It's his third pro fight. I have 30 schools worldwide but my headquarters is in, in Hollywood. Any advice you want to give to the young generation who's interested in you know, fighting? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Why not? I'm kidding. I know uh, you are. <laughs> it's really dangerous, but it's very entertaining, so, you know. What's your favorite style? I love jiu-jitsu. What's your relationship with Lights Out Promotions? Uh, well, George is a longtime friend of mine. We, um, I trained him actually from the beginning. That's how I started me, uh, becoming friends with him. He came to my gym to train. He was back in '98, so like 14 years of friendship, and we did a lot of great things together. And this is another great event we're gonna have today. So, since you've been the coach, and now it's switched over, you being the fighter, how, how do you feel about that role reversal? Uh, I feel, you know, I, I my last fight was four years ago. I was at the Samuel Casino, and I had my uh, fighters cornering me as well. My last Muay Thai fights, I stopped all three fights in the second round and then won one with decision. So my last four fights have been good. I won all of it. I'm nice and relaxed, but it's pretty fun, you know, having great athletes like Juan Esmari Rosian and all the good fighters that train in my gym helping me out and being in my corner. It's pretty fun to work with them and you know I'm gonna show them that I'm ready and I could fight you're so calm um, what's your what's your secret <laughs> uh, just I think a lot of experience I've been fighting professionally since I was 16 years old and I own my own gym and you know work with a lot of fighters and doing it for 14 years of uh, teaching fighters and being in the professional atmosphere is a pretty long time but I started training when I was seven so it's been a long time so that's why I'm nice and relaxed. Okay we're here with Georgie and you just won so you want to tell us a little bit about your experience? Yeah I just uh, you know I did my professional boxing debut it was it was pretty fun I mean I wanted to win by knockout but I'm, I'm kind of happy it went uh, all four around so uh, I'm just really happy it was a great experience. What was the main point for you in that, in that pivot point? I think to use my head a lot, to think a lot, so uh, with MMA we use our instincts a lot, but uh, with boxing is you got to pick your punches, so it, it was a good experience fighting from all this uh, Armenian crowd and uh, especially getting the, the belt from High Fighters for Fight of the Night. That's pretty cool, congratulations on that. You want to show it that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 